In this video, I'm revealing a simple Bollinger Band scalping strategy that will change the way you trade. The basis of this strategy is using two exponential moving averages, which are the 200 EMA and the 1000 EMA, as well as the Bollinger Bands indicator, which is kept at its original settings. This strategy is actually designed solely for US 30, and because indices are always appreciating over the longer term, I only look to take long positions. Also, I usually trade this strategy on a five minute time frame but it does work on all of the various timeframes. The first step in setting up our strategy is placing the 200 and 1000 EMA onto our chart. We use these moving averages as our directional bias, where directional bias is when you have an explicit bias as to whether you think prices like to go up, down, or range in the near future. In the case of US 30, our directional bias is always up over the longer term, and this is why we only look to trade long positions. To make sure we are trading with a trend, we will only take trades when the price is above the 200 and 1000 EMA as this would indicate the short and medium term trend is upwards and we know our long term trend is also upwards. Just to clarify, this means we will not want to take any sell positions with this strategy and we will avoid taking any trades if the EMAs are passing through price as this indicates that the short and medium term trend do not align with the longer term trend. Another catch to improve the probability of this trading system is only trading when the 200 EMA is above the 1000 EMA so always make sure that this is the case. The first step in identifying our trade is waiting for price to touch the upper line of the Bollinger Bands before falling away and pushing through the 20 SMA, which is in the middle line of our Bollinger Band. After this, we then want to wait and see if price touches the outer edge of our Bollinger Band. We're now going to look at a really important part of this strategy, so make sure you're paying attention. The critical part of moving through the middle line of the Bollinger Band is that price must come straight down to touch the outer band. If price breaks through the 20 SMA, but before it touches the opposite band, it pushes back above the SMA, this invalidates this trade, even if price then pushes down to touch the bottom band. In this scenario, don't look to enter any trades. However, if price drops straight to our lower band, place a buy stop order on the middle line of the Bollinger Band, which is of course the 20 SMA. Our entry signal is price crossing back above the 20 SMA, so this means as soon as price crosses above the 20 SMA, we want to open a buy position. Let's now look at our exit strategy. When talking about exit strategies, we need to work out two things, where we are going to place our stop loss and where we are going to place our take profit. First, let's look at stop loss placement. For most of my trading strategies, my favorite way of placing my stop loss is by using the ATR indicator. The ATR indicator measures the average volatility in price over the last X amount of periods, and hence the ATR stop will adapt depending on the current market conditions. The number of periods that ATR depends on is based on the length of the ATR indicator. So a 14 period ATR on the hourly timeframe represents the average volatility of each hour over the last 14 hours. But a 24 period ATR on the hourly timeframe represents the average volatility of each hour over the last 24 hours. In a period of a high volatility, we'll have a high ATR value, but in periods of low volatility, we'll have a low ATR value. The reason the ATR stop is so good with this particular strategy it's because the Bollinger Bands also depend on volatility. Introducing a volatility stop to a strategy that already uses volatility is just a no-brainer. For our profit targets, I have found placing the take profit at 2 risk to reward ratio is the optimum place to put your take profit. I used to use a 4 risk to reward ratio, but I found that my strike rate increased to 70% from 30% when using the smaller target. And hence, even though I make only 2% trade rather than 4%, I win more trades meaning overall, I make more money. Now, let's look at an example of this strategy in action. On this chart, we can see that US 30 is currently in an uptrend, as indicated by a 200 and 1000 EMA both heading upwards, as well as our price being above both EMAs. Next, we wait for price to touch the top line in the Bollinger Band before dropping straight below our 20 SMA. We now want to look for price to touch the bottom band before entering a buy stop position. We then wait for price to travel back to the 20 SMA and we then enter a buy position with ATR stop value of 9.32 and placing our target at a 2RR ratio. As you can see, price smashes our take profit before continuing in the upwards direction. 